Hey and welcome to Ninja Bell Reviews and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Elita 1 and right out of the gate here this is not a Legacy Deluxe figure this is a Cyberverse Deluxe figure in every single measurable way this fits the Cyberverse Deluxe better than a mainline deluxe because the materials, the feel, the weight, the amount of paint, it's the engineering, everything about this toy screams Cyberverse Deluxe. And I would dare anyone to prove me wrong. That just fight me. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I am very serious. This is a Cyberverse Deluxe toy. Anyway, moving on. I do like this toy. Mine has a bit, uh, uh, some, a bit of issues with it. We'll get around to that. Uh, but first, we'll take a look at these instructions. And it does come with some instructions. And you can see all of that going on there. So, there's that. Here is the reverse side. And I am starting her out in her robot mode. So, yeah. There's that. Get rid of that. This is the box. Let me tilt up my camera some here. Oop, I'm using my alternate tripod so it doesn't sit quite as high. So anyway, here you go. Have the box. Love the artwork going on there. Elita 1 has all about symbol. Transformers up the side. Got the Generations logo. Takara Tomy logo. No plastic. <laughs> it's funny, Hasbro. You want to go green, so you're saving on plastic, but you create more cardboard. Anyway... Uh, um, Transformers Legacy says Deluxe Class down there. Hasbro, mine's kind of dinged up right there. But love the artwork. Love that artwork on the side. Has some Cybertronian going on there. She's, you know, yelling at some commands going on right there. Dig it. That corporate stuffs. No bio, nothing you can scan for a bio on this box, which is kind of sad. But fantastic artwork. Ooh, been loving all that. Oh, I'm wrong. There's one. There you go. On free scan on me. Anyway, once you do scan it, you know you'll come up with a bio. I will include that bio somewhere on screen here, and uh, has her alt mode there, or no alt mode there, robot mode there. It takes 14 steps to go to either one. Transformers, more than meets the eye. Hasbro. Love the box. I mean, the overall look of the box is nice, okay? I like the Legacy boxes. I love these dark purples and, and blues and, and all of this going into this, you know, that background. It's it, I like the box. I just wish it had the plastic in there. So, yeah. Get rid of that. Do away with the box. And here she is. And she comes with three accessories. Let me set this down real quick. Tilt the camera down. There we go. She comes with two of these clear plastic rifles. I'm not a big fan of that, but hey, you know, there we go. Let me get this out of here. Comes with this thinger here that is really in there tight on mine. There we go. Close that up. Set her back there. Comes with two of these. And they're very nicely molded. But we'll give them that. And it does have blast effect capability, so if you want to stick a blast effect on there... I'm just pulling up a random one, so you know, hey, there you go. Does have some 5 mil ports on the side in case you want to stick a weapon on there. You can do that too. Here is her second rifle. Once again, done in that clear plastic. Got some nice molded details on there. And you've got a 5 mil port there and there in case you want to, you know, stick, you know, a, a, a weapon on there. And either port you, you can do so if you so wish so there's that set those off to the side for now does come with this little like top of her helmet and i do wish that it was painted yellow on the interior of that silver and yellow to match what's going on here on the head so i i do wish that was picked out in, in that yellow and silver i may have to do that myself but there it is. It does come with that and the white on the side. I may have to paint the white thing cones there and the silver and the yellow there to match it. Because that would have been nice. I mean, the whole symbology of it on top of the car, you know, is supposed to be this. But, okay. 
and this again is optional you don't have to put it on there but you can put it right there or any one of these ports there on the side there side there under her arms on her feet if you wish i mean hey why not mm, stick that on her foot then there you go now she has you know a cleat for you know walking on ice or something and there you go a single cleat single cleat Anyway, we'll set that off to the side and look at the uh, uh, figure proper. And wow, love this head sculpt. Um, I did sort of a, a poll uh, on several Facebook groups. Um, believe it or not, most people like the Power of the Primes uh, head sculpt better than this one. But I think this is a really good sculpt. So, um, but uh, many fans can't argue with about 50 people said they like the Power of the Primes better. So, you know, still, this is I think this is a really good head sculpt. Got some blue in the eyes, silver. Got the yellow in there, white on those horns. Love the face sculpt again. Pink on those lips. Head does rotate. Now, I took mine apart and modded a bit of it so it can get some more down on that. So, because of the way it's designed in there, you can't get much back because of that joint right there. But, and the way, because inside the head, it sits on a shallow... Uh, a ball joint so maybe i mean the ball joint is maybe that tall okay so it's shallow and the ball joint sits inside of a socket on on this side there is a little peg which pushes pushes the ball no on this one this back half there's a little stem which pushes the ball into a socket that's inside this i'm not even doing this on camera pay attention bill so as i was saying you take that screw out, head splits in half, as you can see. On this back half, there is a little peg which pushes the ball joint into a channel or a socket inside this section of the head. So, and those blue eyes are painted on the back half of this. So when you pull this part off, the eyes go with it. So this whole section without the eyes is a separate piece. So anyway, moving right along, you get that... Uh, articulation out of the head um, I have mine set up a little bit differently than it is displayed on the box I actually prefer this look more you got the same amount of backpack no matter what you do but with this doing it this way and I'll show the the way they show you on the box uh, um, is like this okay so you decide which you like better um, I like the way I do it a little bit better you can fold them the other way too but I like this look a little bit better and it hides more of this gunk here as you can see you can see all of that there and with that there it hides a lot more of it so um, I actually prefer that look totally up to you what you want to do but this is the way I'm going to do it and that's the way I'm going to display her just like that so it good it just you know takes care of a lot more of that anyway you get because of all that, you can't get the arm all the way around, but you could if it wasn't there. So that's pretty nice. Arm will go out that far. You do have a bicep rotation on a mushroom peg there. Single jointed elbow for over 90 degrees. That's nice. Got a nice wrist swivel, which is much better than her previous versions, which we will see in just a moment. Get her arms out of the way. Anyway, you got that magenta going on here, or whatever color that is. The whites, the pink here, that's just paint. That's just colored plastic. This is all the paint right here. All of this right here, including that white here, is all paint. Or no, not the white, but all of this magenta and pink, that's all paint. Because it is white plastic that is used. So, that's nice. That's a nice amount of paint going on right there and around. They should have carried over this color here i think into the sides but that's just you know my opinion waist swivel get all the way around if you want it no ab crunch whatsoever legs will kick out that far so not a great range but you know that's because of this detail right here so yeah you got around that universal joint you have that hip joint going on right there you got 90 degree of bend there Nothing a lot in the toes, no up or down, but you get a nice deep rocker. Flippity floppity, flippity floppy. So, and, and one nice thing is this has got a soft ratchet. You got one click, boom, one, two. So, one click down, two clicks up. So, 
pretty weird but hey it works so that's her articulation let's do a quick comparison we'll set her off over here zoom back out we will bring in the netflix there it is and as much as i like this i actually think i like her a little bit better she has slightly more artic well she has slight i think two or three points more of articulation than she does still it's really nice I never really did care for that orangish pink color on that. So, you know, I think this does it more justice, but it's a different mold too. So, you know, anyway, we'll get that out of there. We'll bring in her big sister, Power of the Primes, Alita One. There we go. And that's how they look together. I think that's pretty good. And again, most people voted that this... It's actually their favorite head sculpt of the more recent, within the last, say, four or five years, this is the best head sculpt that we got in an official representation. So, this is the way people have voted. So, this is, this is it. Um, and that's a pretty nice head sculpt. That's a pretty nice head sculpt. Let's zoom in here. Focus. There you go. So, you know... There's a look at that. So most people, they tend to like the Power of the Primes one. So there you go. If they had painted lips, I think it would be even better. But most people tend to prefer this head sculpt. Just something, if you don't, anyway, so let's get that out of there. And we will uh, be right back with her vehicle mode. I'm not going to do the transformation. That's her in her vehicle mode. There you go. And yeah, I dig it. I dig it a lot. Let's turn this camera down. And yeah, I I do. I dig this a lot. Love those wheels, man. I dig. Front ones are smaller than the back ones. Get that tabbed in properly. There you go. Like I said, everything has a problem staying tabbed together on mine anyway. I don't know about your copy. You know, this side tends to stay tabbed in a little bit more. But anyway, we're looking at the vehicle. So there is the front. Her head just sticks out there. Even if you turn this around, which it won't transform correctly if you, if you turn the head around. Fair warning to you, it, it won't. It just will, because of the size difference between the front and back half, won't transform properly. So you have to have it like that. So uh, um, there you go. You got white around those lights. White bumper, pink. Again, all this is paint. Uh, this white is paint. This magenta is paint. Pink plastic, like that detail going on in there, that clear canopy, 5 mil port there, Get everything tabbed together securely back here, there we go, like I said, mine just has a problem staying tabbed in all the time, it just does that, there's the top, there's the bottom, also mine has, um, I forgot to talk about it in robot mode, but she does have a loose uh, right hip, and the foot here is, well, as you can see, it doesn't like to stay up this one's about the same way so but when it's like this you know it's fine but still shaky loose going on and of course if you want you can take any of her accoutrement and put that on there we'll slot that in there and again that would have been nice to have that silver yellow and the white there going on you got ports there ports there ports there ports on the back anywhere you want to stick these you can stick these and she can be, be then, you know, firing her weapons in her vehicle mode. And yeah, I, I do dig this vehicle mode. It's unique. But again, it feels like a Cyberverse toy. It really, really does. I, I cannot stress that enough. Just something about this screams Cyberverse. It's uh, not a legacy toy, but a Cyberverse toy. That's just the way it is in mine. But... Above all that, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. This has been my look at the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Alita 1. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Check out my playlist. Please click the like button, hit the subscribe button if you have not already. Click the bell icon to stay up to date if you have the means to do so and want to donate to my channel. There is a Patreon link in the description below. Click the link to join my Patreon. Everything helps support the channel. Um... I think you should get this. Uh, 
Now, one thing I will say, I don't think this is worth like the 34 bucks, okay? I could see this at maybe a $24 rate, um, honestly, but, you know, much more than that. Uh, um, uh, if you can get, get this on clearance, please do so. Uh, um, this, this, like I said, this is a Cyberverse toy. Uh, everything about it screams Cyberverse. So, you know, but at any rate, it is a toy worth picking up. A, a great new addition to the Alita one. Uh, Mythos looks good. I, I dig it. I dig it. Be good to each other. <laughs>